before I let you go, man, because you're sweating, man. You just got done sparring. And I'm going back in again. I mean, this little break, about to get back in and spar again. I mean, this is what we do, but I, I always got time to come and talk. Because I'm, really, I'm a boxing analyst slash the black Mexican Hell slash yeah. the mama's boy. I wear hats, man. Plenty hats, man. Hell yeah. I hate no doubt, I gotta give that to you. It's true. I appreciate it. But, but, I got, but what'd you, before I let you go, man, what'd you think of the fight over the weekend, Porter and Garcia? Oh man, shout out to Sean Porter, man. Like, I, I grew up with Sean, Sean's damages. I used to stay at Sean's house and train with him there. So, so outside of being a, a, a good friend, I'm a fan, man. I, I like Sean's work ethic. I've been in camps with him and watch how how the man goes, man. He trains super disciplined, one of the most disciplined people I know. And I just think he deserved it, man. He worked hard and you, you saw it in the ring, man. I, I think people don't get one enough credit. I don't know why I so much hate towards Sean. Like, I read comments. Yeah. I don't, I don't get it because he's such a humble dude. Such a nice guy. Um, and I, he deserved it. Shout out to Danny too. Great fight. And, I, and I'm a fan of Danny as well. Right. But I think Sean just did a little more. Like he, he showed that he wanted it more. So, so I, think, I think the judges got it right. And I'm excited for the Sean Arrow Spence, man. Like, you knew that everyone, was the next question. Yeah, of course. I'm, yeah. Everyone's so like, Arrow's gonna destroy Sean. That's how everyone feels. I don't get that. Granted, I think Arrow's a great fighter. Definitely power around. But whenever we ever seen Sean destroy, we can say a fighter's gonna destroy him. Sean got too much, too much heart, too much balls, but work ethic. But it's again, not like against Spence, would, it, would his balls work against him trying to try it to could, stop it him, could, you know what I mean? I, and I'm not saying that Sean's gonna win. I'm not saying any of that. But right. I'm just saying to hear him say, "Oh, he's gonna get destroyed." That's crazy to me because um, Sean, Sean's not gonna get destroyed by anybody. In my personal opinion, you know what I'm saying might win the fight. It's a good chance Harold win the fight. I think Harold is great. He might pull it off, but um, Sean's gonna be there. Though. Sean's gonna be there. What do you think about Harold talking greasy about the division, especially I, Crawford? I loved it, man. I love how boxing's getting better. Like I saw over the weekend, everybody was chilling the Charlos, Brona. Yeah. Everybody was together. That's that's great. To see, but I love the the beef in boxing. Like this is not a friend. We're not friends. You know what I'm saying like like you guys see. I'm, I'm in. I train with Jose Benavides now. I'm in camp with David Benavides. Shout out to David. David's a great fighter. Um, he's in my weight class. Are you right over there. Right over there. Super cool. Super cool, super humble, super good guy, and, and we're great. But if I got the opportunity to fight him again, I want my rematch, right? It's, all this friend stuff is corny to me. Like, we, we fight, we get paid to fight. After we fight, then we can go out to eat together, and I mean, laugh, whatever, get some girls, whatever. But, but right now, like, let's, let's get in. So I love, I love Errol Spence's attitude to everybody. Like, he says he's the best. Prove him wrong. Would he like, beat Crawford? I think they're the, right now, I think they're the only two people that could beat each other. In my personal opinion. Although Jose's getting ready to fight him, and Jose's training hard, he's looking good. I'm, I'm rooting for him in that fight, but Crawford, Crawford is great, man. Crawford is great, so I'm excited for the fights coming up, man. Boxing's looking real good, man. I'm loving, the, I'm loving the energy, I'm loving the beat. I like the herd and Charlo beat. I like, I like everything, man. It's looking, I just want to put me in the mix. I want to fight somebody, you know what I mean? Like, because it's feeling good. Who they got to put you in with, man? Whoever, whoever's at the top. Right. I would love to fight on. Um, Somebody that's gonna get me close to, to a title. Um, they offer me Damone Nicholson. What about you and Curtis Stevens? I baby? would love it. And Curtis is my guy for me. Yeah. I grew up watching Curtis from the jails. Or the winner of Lemieux and, and Spike Sullivan. I would love it. They offered me Spike before, but he, he turned me down, man. I I love to fight this fight, man. And Lemieux, me and Lemieux was in camp together. I love to fight Lemieux, man. Whoever, I'm not turning out anybody. I have nothing but respect for anybody out here, but I'm not saying no to anybody. Whether we train together, whether I grew up with you, I don't care. Fight that's what we have for. And it's still, like I said before, I'm saying every interview, next time I lose, I'm retiring. So, beat me. Like, I'm ready to retire. I'm ready to retire. I got stuff to do. I got a daughter. Somebody come beat me. That's how I feel, because I want, I want the best, man. For real. Thank you, Dennis. No problem, man. Thank you, brother.